Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Lenovo ThinkPad P17 Gen 2. Now, this unit just arrived from Lenovo for review purposes. The retail price on the specific configuration is roughly $5,000 US dollars. I will include a link in the description for those of you interested in picking up one of these monsters. And just like the previous generation, uh, this sports a best-in-class uh, 4K, that is UHD, 17-inch uh, display, 500 nits of brightness, 100% uh, Adobe RGB, and uh, of course is HDR capable as well. Let me go ahead and get the power brick out of here. And this thing is just a total monster. We're talking about CPU, GPU. This is essentially what should be uh, a dream workstation for any mobile uh, professional. It doesn't have to be mobile, but that would like to take this uh, out of the office and essentially have something that can excel at just about everything, and that's because we have an Intel Core i9 11th gen chip. Uh, you can also go with an Intel Xeon processor if that is your preference. Uh, you can also, of course, configure this with uh, a variety of different GPUs. The specific unit sent over to me uh, sports the NVIDIA RTX A5000 with 16 gigs of VRAM, and uh, you know, upgradeability, expandability, we've got three NVMe SSD slots. Uh, Lenovo is saying they cap out at two terabytes. I may end up testing that, we'll see. We have a, what I believe is going to be a 230 watt uh, power brick, and it is. You can see right there. And this machine just has it all. So between that eight core processor, which again, you can go Xeon if you prefer that. Uh, you also have, as I've mentioned, uh, the RTX A5000, uh, 64 gigs of RAM that you can upgrade up to 128 gigs. This, again, has 64 out of the box. Uh, in addition to that, of course, Gen 4 NVMEs are supported. The one inside of this out of the box, I believe, is a single terabyte. Uh, as you can see, we have a full-size SD card reader, uh, USB uh, Type-A port, Kensington lock, uh, and then on the other side of the machine, we have... HDMI 2.1, another USB-A port, nano SIM slot, and a headphone microphone combo jack. And then on the back, even more connectivity. You can see we've got uh, some Thunderbolt ports, another Type-C port, and of course the charging port and an Ethernet port. So this is really meant to be able to do absolutely everything, obviously not gaming, and then easy access for upgrading right there. So I may end up popping this open we could see whether or not I can get an eight terabyte uh, drive to run in this. And you get all the durability, military spec, all that good stuff that ThinkPad brings to the table. And look, this is about being best in class, not about winning a beauty contest. Although I know there are many of you out there that do absolutely love the look and feel of a beast ThinkPad like this. I mean, I understand that. We've got a webcam top center. As you can see, we also have a privacy switch. If I could get it going there. Now it's red. That means you have privacy. Open it back up. And of course, uh, that privacy is gone, so to speak. Uh, the ThinkPad keyboard that really still is unrivaled in the business. Don't get me wrong. A lot of manufacturers make great keyboards, but ThinkPad historically, you know, before it was Lenovo and of course now being Lenovo still has one of the most highly regarded experiences from any keyboard. Uh, the Touchpad or trackpad is pretty much the same as previous generation, if my memory serves. Fingerprint scanner right there. Uh, speakers right here along the top of the deck. And remember, this display is color calibrated. Let's go ahead and power it up. You have that full numerical keypad. And really, this is targeted at a very specific audience. Again, someone who wants durability, a machine that's going to last long term, and give them performance to get things done. Now, when I say get things done, we're talking about rendering, we're talking about architecture, design. Uh, so if you work inside Revit, I mean, even for AutoCAD, I feel like this is incredibly beefy because this is the type of machine that can do everything. I can already tell you just from booting up, the display looks great. I may even right now go ahead and log us, get us onto Wi-Fi. Of course, this supports 6E to my knowledge, but let's get us online and just see what the display really looks like because, again, color proofing is 
meant to be part of the identity of this line. So whether you're doing, you know, any sort of photography or uh, video edits, this machine is supposed to give you exactly what you would want. So let's just take a look at something on YouTube, which is far from a great indicator, but it still will give us some idea. And, you know, the hinges seem really solid, very little wobble on this, you know, very little. I mean, if I play with it, I could encourage it, but nice, tight, stiff feeling from this entire uh, build. Just, it does exude overall build quality. So let's go ahead and start this without any data. I'm not worried about that. And let's just go ahead and jump on YouTube. And again, this is not a machine for everyone, but for anyone that actually appreciates what Lenovo is doing with these, I think you're going to love it. I know that the P17 line is one of my favorites. The fact that you have so much expansion uh, and just overall capability, this is this machine means business. There's no other way of putting it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into just some 4K HDR content. Let's see what that looks like. We'll also hear what that looks like. I generally save this for a first look, but why not just get it out of the way? Let's make sure our volume be on mute. Speakers are not Sorry. bad. It's Again, okay. for a P17, you've got to remember this machine is really, it's not meant to be content consumption, but it can do everything, like I keep saying. Let's go ahead and get that to 4K. This is not an HDR sample, but it still should prove to be pretty good looking, and I will go ahead, since we have a flat top-down view, I will match that to our camera settings. Brightness looks a little high. Let's go ahead and tweak that. And I can tell you right now, the display looks excellent. Now, part of the blowout I'm getting right here is just from studio lights. So you'll have to wait until the first impressions video to really get a good feel for how good this display is. But I can tell you right now, myself, looking at this IPS panel, it is fantastic. And obviously, if you purchase a machine like this, that's part of the goal with having uh, the X-Rite uh, Pantone color calibration that comes right out of the factory with this. Go ahead and angle that up a little bit. Probably fare a little bit better. So again, this is not a machine for everyone. This is really targeted at a very specific a group of users, but it is one size fits all when it comes to being just a monster that can do everything, except for gaming. Again, you're not going to want to game on this. Uh, this is not uh, a gaming GPU, but rather uh, this will be, of course, part of uh, NVIDIA Studio Driver's uh, crop, and you will still get best-in-class performance, so it'll be interesting to see what Revit runs like on here. I'll probably test that out, um, and of course, ideal for photo, video editing, and rendering in general. This is designed specifically for those of you that are taking that to task. And at $5,000, you know, this is competing directly with uh, things like HP's ZBook line. Uh, that is the market it's taking on, again, for uh, content creation, uh, video production, and of course, any other form of software that can take full advantage of that RTX A5000 with the 16 gigs of VRAM, which as far as the mobile class of content creation goes, that is the king of the hill. That there is no better option on the market. And I think the only thing that you know you need to be aware of with a machine like this is that it is really big, but that's part of the appeal. You've got the glowing uh, ThinkPad I, the dot over the I there, uh, typical of letting you know whether the machine is hibernating or not, and you can see it pulsating right now. And Lenovo just does a knock-up job with these. I mean, they have an identity unlike any other. Everyone knows ThinkPad, and uh, the P-Series is just the beefiest machine that Lenovo makes um, in a consumer, prosumer, uh, dare I say, a commercial-grade uh, mobile workstation. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them at that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.